out away at Wrath. But I don't think he should be getting confident. Wrath. Not only does he got all that stamina, but he's real resilient. Ah! Oh, what a big tackle there, a spear, right hand. I mean, that's what I'm talking about, because Wrath, you can't think you have him. He knows how to come back. Oh! Hammers him right in the back. And El Diablo is a little breathless here. Wrath just kicks him back. There's a boot. And could he be trying for the crucifix again? El Diablo's like, uh-uh! Man, the former unlimited champ playing a little paddle ball in the turnbuckle with Wrath. Oh! Man, Diablo now locking up and Wrath just got put in the turnbuckle and won! Oh, I thought we were going to see he, a 10 punch, but I guess El Diablo didn't have the strength. And Wrath brings him back up on the shoulders. Ah! Uh, oh! That's really going to take the wind out of your sails. And Wrath starting to get a little confident in there. Which is something he shouldn't really be doing. But when Wrath does get confident, he does get deadly. Oh, pile driver. Throw him right onto the head. And Wrath right here. Just brings him around, but you can tell these two monsters, these behemoths just beating the crap out of each other. They know how to hit. So I don't think I've ever seen either of them in a position where they were winded and did so soon. And ah! Wrath really resorting to whatever he has to do here. Because he's never really been in there with someone like El Diablo. El Diablo is almost like his counterpart, man. It's like his equal. And El Diablo, oh, is about to get suplexed. Wrath hits hard with that suplex, and he hit home, man. And Diablo is going to try to put this one away right here. He's got him up for that crucifix. And El Diablo, ah, he's got driven into the mat. He was trying to fight out of it, but it didn't happen. It's usually a one and done when Wrath hits that crucifix. Will tonight be no exception? Yeah. There's your three count. There's your three count, and Wrath picks up a very significant win here at Dynasty 2, who defeating Aftershocks El Diablo. And man, if that don't send a message, I don't know what will. Beware of Wrath. Damn. This guy gets insane. Man, we back. Oh man, fans, are you ready for this? This next matchup between two psychotic, insane, and probably superhuman beasts. First we see Wexter from Aftershock. And oh man, these issues that have been brewing for several months between him and Overdrive's resident monster. Cadaveris. I mean, they all started Wexter just showing up out of nowhere on Overdrive and beating down Cadaveris. And they went back and forth for a couple weeks until Wexter jumped Cadaveris in the parking lot and stuffed him in a casket in the back of a hearse. And then several weeks later, Cadaveris comes back and puts a hurting on Lexter, leaving him lying on that canvas. And we only just found out about this match a couple of days ago. And as I was just coming in, I know I heard a lot of fans. I know I heard a lot of fans talking about it. And man, I can't say I blame you guys. Whoa! Uh, that lightning bolt tells the story. And man. Here he comes, straight out of the gates of hell.
cadaverous! Man, I don't know what this is all about, but believe you me, fans, I'll tell you what. This inner brand war we're about to see between cadaverous be, uh, excuse me, from cadaverous from Overdrive and Lexter from Aftershock. This will be brutal. This will be barbaric. This will be not for the weak of heart. Y'all want to brace yourself. And man, and cadaverous. Wow! I think that sums up the point I was just about to make. Always so explosive in there. But man, it's kind of like what I was talking about with El Diablo and Wrath a little while ago as referee calls for the bell and this thing is underway. I mean, we got a little face off right here. Uh, this is kind of like a case of counterpart against counterpart and Blackster Block. Oh, and he just knocks him down. And Cadaverous firing away here. Sends Lexter off the ropes, and did you see that? What a kick, and it just sent Lexter flying outside. And, ah, oh, headbutt by Cadaverous. Wait a minute. And Cadaverous just plants him. Him. He just plants him on that outside floor. And believe me, this this will get ugly in a hurry. Ah, oh, clothesline there. <coughs> and Lexter er, starting to fight back. You cannot beat Lexter easily. Let's just make a point right point of that right here. You cannot beat this guy easily. But then again, the same can be said about Cadaverous. We're in for a war, fans. <coughs> Lexter sends Cadaverous in the turnbuckle. Ah! DDTs him to oblivion. And man, we've seen how sick Lexter can get in the past few weeks. We've seen how sick he has gotten. And Cadaverous, <coughs> he's not quite sane himself. Now this monster just, ah, just, do you see how he just slammed his back across the knee? And man. <laughs> and Cadaverous, oh, did you see that? And into Gary. Cadaverous might be big, but don't, don't be deceived by his size, because he's incredibly agile. And Lexter can do some pretty whacked out things too. Ah, what a boot! Hey man, remember these two guys, they first encountered each other in the Lethal Lottery. They were the first two entrants of that Rumble match. And they both lasted a good period of time. And Cadaverous is bringing them up here. Ah! Bring him down. And Cadaverous, as you see him firing away here at Lexter. I mean, there's been a lot of talk over which of these two monsters is more dangerous. And ah! A suplex. And now, I don't honestly. I honestly think both these guys are equally dangerous. But which one of them is superior? That's what everybody wants to know. And Lexter, who looks like something, something out of a nightmare. And Cadaverous, who looks like something out of a horror movie. Hey, Lexter right now is in the dominant position. Ah, oh, what a body avalanche. A splash. Lexter, I mean, these two guys, what more can I say about them? They're demons. And Lexter, he's got him off. Oh, oh man, choke bomb! Double 